Now, as the Russian invasion continues, Ukrainians here in this country are constantly reminded of the home they left behind. Yeah, you know, it's even trickier for children who have left a now war-torn nation. WAT6 on your side reporter Alexi Spivak spoke with one Knoxville family who adopted two Ukrainian children last year. She sat down with their adoptive mother to talk about how these girls are dealing with what's going on over there. Alexi. Lori, Bo, so we want you to meet Juliet and Chloe, okay? This is actually a photo of both of them right there. These two are biological sisters, and they're from Ukraine. They were adopted by Amy Rothermel and her husband, making the big move to the United States. Rothermel explains the crisis in Ukraine is impacting both Juliet and Chloe in entirely different ways. We had never met them, hadn't talked to them. Uh, we knew that they were two girls. Amy Rothermel and her husband have three biological sons. But they felt something was missing, longing for daughters. We travel to their region, which is Mariupol, and we get to meet the girls. And essentially, you have about five days to make a decision whether or not you want to adopt. In February of 2021, 17-year-old Juliet and her 8-year-old sister Chloe came to their new home in the U.S. One year later, Ukraine was being invaded by Russian forces. For Chloe, Rothermel says that she's too young to know what's going on. But for Juliet, she's very aware and worried. I mean, she lived at her orphanage in Ukraine for most of her life. Um, so her her friends and her teachers were, were her family. Juliet's adoptive mother spoke about her struggles. She's normally a very, you know, happy-go-lucky teenage girl. and. You could just tell it was sort of like the weight of the world on her shoulders. She says they use social media to keep in touch with friends in Ukraine. That comes with its own heartaches. It might take two or three days before our messages say seen, you know, and so you just sort of wait on edge to see if they're okay. She says she's just happy that they got the girls out when they did. We are just mostly so grateful that we were able to get the girls out on time. Because not everyone will be as fortunate. I know several families that are in the process of adoption right now and in Ukraine and it's completely at a standstill. Uh, we don't know if they will ever be able to bring their kids home. All right now, Rothermel says that many of Juliet's friends have been evacuated out of Mariupol to either safer cities or to neighboring countries. However, for those still in that city, they say it's been weeks since they've heard from them because there's no electricity.